Hello, Dr. Byron C. Phillips, MBA, your professor, your consultant, and your tennis pro. Topic for the video is EQ and LQ. That is emotional intelligence and love intelligence, as opposed to simply IQ. How can you, as a leader and employee, do a much better job and get stronger with EQ and LQ? Can one become productive and channel oneself in a more beneficial manner with IQ, EQ, and LQ? Carol Stern wrote the book, The Emotionally Strong Leader. She described society as sometimes like a vice, squeezing us tighter and tighter. Stern recommended that we should not seek perfection, but rather accept our humanity. We are all human, in fact. It's not about perfection. It's about progress. Stern reported that a lack of emotional intelligence costs the global economy $8.1 trillion per year in lost productivity. We need to experience ourselves and help others create positive emotions. When we have positive employees, they are productive, happy, satisfied, and don't leave. What can we do to make a difference as an emotional leader? Well, we can provide feedback, coaching, acceptance, unconditional like and love, and mentoring. We must remember, 55% of communication is body language. 38% is the tone we use. Only 7% of our communication is verbal communication and the words we use. So let's model a high EQ and LQ. Our employees and colleagues will have more creativity, make better decisions, be healthier, and want to work longer hours. What do you have to lose? Nothing. Improve your EQ and your LQ.